Jason Burke Maiden next, and this is a four mile maiden, so there'll be lots of Grand National contenders in this. The top one is Catching Over Hassle for Thomas Rogers. Enemy Flight, Darren Thompson. Eyes of the World, Leon Van Rensburg. High Edge Grey, John Morgan. Last Suspect, Grand Clutterbuck. No More Heaven, Paul Rhodes. Sang Blur. Or oh, Craig Beck with Blue Penny Martin Leon. Compact Bonnie James Shea. Fearless Amy Ryan Tamasevi. Largely for the National Joshua Sutherland. Moonsail Tavern, David Robertson. Pump Alone Flagship, Alex Cherry. Put the Kettle on D. Hooley. Sensitive Jules Craig Allen. And Superior Ninja. Derek Hinton just 16, then I, and they're ready to go, and away they go. I'm expecting more runners in this. To be honest, it's the only big four miler of the week, and you've got to get two runs. They don't have a four miles to qualify for the Grand National. So it's enemy flight who's gone off into the lead, pulling for its head. This will take some getting in as well. If you stay four miles around here, you will stay the national trip. That is for certain. Um, enemy flight is the early leader from High Edge Grey in second. They make their way towards the second of the 25 fences. Maybe a good test, this. And enemy flight is in the lead. The pace is sensible. And a fearless aim is moved through to second. A superior ninja, or Derek Hinton, is third. High edge grey, the grey is fourth. Then catching over hassle with last suspect after that one. And then song blur as they take this ditch. And they're all safely over that one as well. With moon cell tavern, just the back marker. But an awful long way to go, of course, so you need to be too worried where you are in the field at this stage. And enemy flight has got across to the rail and leads by about five lengths to the grey, high edge grey in second. Catching over Hustle and Fearless Amy. Bit of a gap then to Superior Ninja. Lead largely for the National after that one as they take fence number four. Which they've all safely got to the other side of, although Eyes of the World didn't jump in all that brilliantly and enemy flight it is in front this one will be the last in about three circuits time but enemy flight didn't jump it all that well having a bit of a wallop they come up past the stands and enemy flight is in the lead and three in a line high edge grey fearless amy and catching over hassle and i get back to superior ninja derrick into the likes of a national horse or two doesn't he then largely for the national for Joshua Sutherland right down on his nose there, that one. And last suspect, who's quite obviously going to be a national horse with a name like that, by Graham Clutterbox. And sensitive jewels and put the kettle on. Sang Blur after that. Then Compact Bonnie and No More Heaven. Blue Penny. What am I tracking the red rum colours? It'd be nice to see them going around the national course. Then Pampalone Flagship. And finally, Eyes of the World is the back marker. And the Eyes of the World are on the leader at the moment as they skip over number seven. And Compact Bonnie was a faller there. Compact Bonnie's gone. Gave it a bit of a wallop and gave the jockey no chance. Um, out of the race. And enemy Flight is in the lead then by about four. To High Edge Grey in second. So they take fence number eight. Uh, this time they're also going to be a pump alone flagship. Just struggling a little bit at the back, but there's a long time to go, a long way to go yet. And he's got plenty of time to get back into the race. Maybe just giving it a little bit of a breather, but enemy flight has been going well in the lead. Just that one mistake so far. It leads by a good five to the grey, high edge grey in second. I'm surprised there's only one grey in this. Although I think there might be one towards the back of the field, is there? It? Slightly obscured at the moment as they take that next one. No, then just the one grey. Some white feet that I could see. So it's enemy flight in the lead then from high edge grey second, catching over castle third. Fearless Aim is fourth and Superior Ninja is fifth as they get to fence number ten. And a mistake again there by Eyes of the World. And also being pushed along towards the back, no more heaven. As they get to number eleven. And they're all over that one okay as well then. With still a long way to go. A lot of jumping still to do and enemy flight is in front. Another mistake there, and a mistake. What a horse in second. Ah, two, four, three, four, four. There's a. That, that fence there, no more heaven. Sensitive jewels and catching over hats. So all three of them went separately and uh, so came totally out of the blue there. That's two of the really big stables, and Thomas Rogers did really well last season as well. So that's three horses that you would think will be in the business end of the race out of it all at the same time as they get over that one. The leading two had made mistakes at it as well, so maybe. 
fence, but that put the others off. But that fence will be worth looking at next time round, won't it? But it's Enemy Flight is in the lead from High Edge Grain second. Fearless Amy is in third. Then a bit of a gap too, largely for the National and Superior Ninja. Then after that one, put the kettle on and eyes of the world and Moon Cell Tavern and Sang Blur. Blue Pennies just after that one. Then a bit of a gap to Last Suspect and Pump Alone Flagship. So a bit of a surprise to see all those fallers, especially three going at the same fence. But the rest of them are jumping okay at the moment, although Blue Penny was a little bit slow at that last one as they come up past the stand again there. With just one more circuit to go. This will be the last on the next circuit as the cameraman tries in vain to keep them all in shot. It's not easy to do, and Enemy Flight is the leader by about three or four lengths, and as they come past this winning post, spurred on by the crowd, one more time round this gruelling Northamptonshire track, and Enemy Flight is in the lead. High Edge Grey is second, and Fearless Amy is third. Largely for the National is four, and in Superior Injuries five as they take the 16th, and they're all safely over that one. Those that are still remaining in the race, and they now race away from us and go downhill onto the dip down the back straight and it's enemy flight in the lead then it'll be all uphill back home and it's enemy flight in the lead from high edge grain second fearless amy is third then largely for the national then superior ninja then a bit of a gap to eyes of the world who's now going better than he was earlier as they come to this big ditch and over that one they go see them all over that one they all jumped it okay and the leader is only in the lead by about three now. So enemy flight still in front by three lengths to the grey, high edge grey in second. Fearless Amy going well on the outside. Largely for the national is tucked in behind them in fourth. Then superior ninja is running a nice quiet race as they take the 18th. Oh, and as I said, then he made a mistake. Then after that one comes put the kettle on. Eyes of the world, moon cell tavern and sang blur together. Blue penny just behind them. And then finally last suspect and Pampolo and flagship. But they've only got just over a mile left to go then in this gruelling four mile chase and enemy flight is in the lead with fearless amy now moved into second high edge grey and largely for the national next and then comes superior ninja put the kettle on after that one and eyes of the world they're well strung out as they come down towards this next one and over that one they go slow jump again by superior ninja also slow at the back was last suspect pump alone flagship went out of shot but it's still enemy flight showing the way home enemy flight is in front from fearless amy in second this is the 20th over that one they go mistake there by Eyes on the National, also a mistake towards the back by Moon Cell Tavern, but it's Enemy Flight who's still in the lead. Fearless Amy second, High Edge Grey third, largely for the National, Superior Ninja. This is the 21st. Over that one they go, much better jump by largely for the National that time. But it's Enemy Flight who's still in front by three lengths to Fearless Amy, largely for the National. High Edge Grey, these four are clear of the remainder as they take the 22nd. Just three more to take now then. Mistake at the back by put the kettle on. But it's still Enemy Flight who's been in the lead all the way, but now being strongly challenged by largely for the National. Then Fearless Amy and High Edge Grey, then a big gap to the remainder. No, I can't see winning from there. It's largely for the National. Down on his third last. Over he goes. Largely for the National. Lands in the lead and starts to pull away from Enemy Flight, who's still going well though in second. Then the Grey High Edge Grey trying to run on. Fearless Amy is next. But it's largely for the National. It can all change on this uphill finish. But largely for the National has gone two or three clear. Has it gone too soon? Largely for the National gets across to the rail. He got two to jump from Enemy Flight in second. High Edge Grey third. Fearless Amy fourth. The rest of them are out of shot and out of the race. It's largely for the National in the lead by a good four or five lengths coming out of this fence gets over the second last skips over it nicely enemy flight jumped it well high edge grey is starting to run on again there's one more fence to take and there's one more furlong to race and it's largely for the national four clear largely for the national looking like he's only got to jump it he comes up to it and he's gone right through the top of it and that's not the stuffing out of him here comes enemy flight trying to fight back it's largely for the national but largely for the national's just about got enough in and i think as he race up towards the line largely for the national enemy flight one last lunge but not quite enough um, and largely for that national takes it. Enemy flight, high edge grey. And what a dramatic race that was with the leader making a mistake at the last and nearly presenting the race back to the horse that had led pretty much all the way. And I think those front three at least are going to be definitely with a squeak in the national later on in the season. And one or two of them have run pretty well as well. Largely for the national takes it. Now, largely for the National for Josh Russell and the winner it'll need to brush up on its jumping before it goes to entry. Enemy flight for Darren Thompson, a big race in second. High edge drive for John Morgan, third. Moon Cell Tavern for David Robertson was fourth. And eyes of the world for Leon Van Rensburg, despite mistakes, stayed on to be fifth.